Hey guys, welcome back to Expose Tuesdays. Today we're going to cover the Gravity Box module that works with the Expose framework. Let's check it out. Will brought us an article on the XDA portal referencing an application that was put together by XDA senior member C3C076. This was actually an application called Gravity Box. It's a module that fits within the Expose framework, so you need to download it and enable it within the Expose framework. It gives us a list of some of the main benefits of this application. Overall, the application was put together for a different purpose, but then later on evolved to be what this tool is under the Expose framework. Uh, it still serves the original purpose, but for the intent of what we need today, we're gonna to be demoing some of the things that we can do this on uh, non touchwiz devices. This is mainly for AOSP, close to AOSP based ROMs. Uh, again, we go into the thread, the developer gives us a list of what the, uh, what the benefits and the features are, and it goes into the fixes and the mods. Let's go ahead and check it out on the device. Go ahead and download and install the actual module itself. We'll go into the installer. This is the Expose installer. Uh, you go under download and you look for Gravity Box. I've already downloaded it and installed it on the device itself. Once you do that, turn it on by going under modules, turn on the check mark, restart the device one more time, and then therefore the application's already started. The other apps, the other modules that I have will cover in a different video. But to, uh, to be able to modify, there's two ways of going in. Either you click on it here or you open it in your application launcher. Go into there. The main benefits here obviously is the ability to have different things running at the same time. And the other thing is that you wanna keep in mind is it does actually give you the ability of using the Pi control, which most people are aware that comes usually with Paranoid Android or um, some other methods of flashing the Pi controller using a separate application. But with the Exposed Framework, now it's available for all devices supported by the framework outside of just the other ones. So we'll go into the lock screen. It gives you the ability to modify and give options into your lock screen uh, unlock ring. So you're able to add and set different applications as far as what you want. So you get that benefit over the normal one. The ability also to add a battery, a battery arc. I added that to my battery uh, on the top screen. So if we shut off the screen, and go back in, you'll notice uh, this is my normal lock screen on the device and I get the ring for the battery percentage. And if I touch it, I have the ability to go into either one of these applications that I have, or I can just unlock as usual and it'll take me back in here. Uh, minimizing which would, uh, you know, quick unlock and all of those things are also other options that you have. Uh, the other option here you have as far as status bar uh, options here, you have quick sending management, the status bar quick setting tiles you're able to set all the different options that you have in here and just to show you how i show it here i have all of my settings on turn on at the same time you're able to reorder them at setting row or setting quick applications really good it also has some options for devices that have a cellular signal this is the wi-fi version of the nexus 7 so i don't have those functionalities but you're able to use those yourself the pi control is one of the main nice things and you can turn it on by just turning it on here and then just say always you can set, uh, as far as the trigger position, I have it right now set to be on the right screen uh, border and the bottom, bottom border. So I can go in here and bring up the Pi control. Very easy, I can change the color, change the text on it, reset it, very nice. It's not the exact same one as you're normally using, used to seeing on the Paranoid Android ROMs, but it is pretty close enough that it gives you some of those functionalities. Uh, clock settings, the ability to uh, you know set the clock, center it, change it, um, the other main benefit is um, so center clock. You can see it right there, and it does these things right at the main, uh, you know, right when you want to see them. Um, as far as where is this data traffic monitor? I'm able to turn it on, and it gives me this percentage of how much traffic my tablet's using at this position. Battery indicator style. Uh, this is basically if you want to show a circle style, you know, a battery percentage, and you know, it just changes everything to where you have it. Or a stock battery indicator. Um, you're also able to turn on the percentage if you wanted straight on the stock indicator. Uh, enable brightest control. This is for devices that don't have it. So if you don't, you can add this in there. Phone tweaks. Again, I can't modify these things on this device, but you have those options. Uh, media tweaks. Ability to set the volume key. Uh, you know, more volume options. Safe headset volume. Those are things that you're able to use for extended if you're using this device specifically for music listening. Application launcher, miscellaneous tweaks. Let's check out the miscellaneous. This, by far, I found to be a very helpful option for me. Now, in Android, uh, you know, you're normally used to going into the all running applications, and by default, you don't have the ability to, um, I would say, sh you know, clear all RAM. Now, TouchWiz does have that option, and I think some of the other custom ROMs by other OEMs do have that option. But standard AOSP doesn't have it. And to add that, it's very simple. You go in here, and I've already turned it on, of course. You turn it on the bottom right side, and then now in the future, every time you hit 
the, uh, the multi-app, you can see all the recent applications running, but then you also have clear the recent apps and you can take you back home. I find it very helpful, specifically if you have a long list and you don't care what's running and you just want to turn off everything. Um, and we can go back into Gravity Box. And that's under the miscellaneous options here, so you can go back in there. Uh, you can also show the RAM usage and then adjust how many how many applications you're there. Um, hardware key options, again, this does not have, other than the power uh, the power key here, I don't have a long thing, but you can actually set different, uh, different options as far as if you have a menu key and if you have a home key, you're able to set if you're long pressing how, what other options you can get. Other than that, I mean, very nice, very easy, customizable. I think, if nothing else, the ability to customize my menu, key, my uh, drag down notification panel, actually my control panel, and then the ability just to customize my home screen. These things I generally love to get on my stock ROM without having to actually install an entire ROM. Installing the application is pretty simple. You can download it using the, uh, the Expose Framework installer, or you can download it from the XCA thread. Either way, when you install it, please check it on or turn on the check mark on it, restart the device, and then you're pretty much set. Uh, one of the main benefits of the Gravity Box is a good portion of their uh, tweaks or mods will enable you to turn those on without having to restart the device, similar to the way we did it last week when we did it on WANAM. Every time we did everything, anything on the WANAM options, you had to restart the device to be able to see how those things look. So definitely keep that in mind. You can actually see some of those things as in I went with the uh, with the walkthrough. You can see, see I turned on the battery percentage, I changed the battery, and it's all on the fly. So it's very nice, very quick, very easy. Um, I like the option to be able to customize my lock screen with the ability to work on the ring, adding applications and different things. That was very nice. Uh, the ability to add to you know close all recent apps. That was something that you don't have the ability of doing that with standard AOSB ROMs. Now I like that on the TouchWiz ROMs, but again, this is the Nexus 7, so I don't want to install TouchWiz just to get that one feature. And that's where the Exposed Framework comes in. So hope you guys like this. Let me know what you think. Um, if you have any recommendations for a specific module you'd like to see for next week, hopefully one that is compatible with either a TouchWiz based device or an AOSP type of device, um, let me know. Put that in the description and vote it up, and we'll definitely cover that next week. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel. As usual, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on Thursday.